and all bless his holy name. How good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. My name is Christia Reed Samuels, and I am your day's moderator. You may have a seat in the meantime. Usher Kentish, we have some special visitors. I am not seeing them on the inside. The, the, Scouts, the Scout Association of Jamaica, can you just check on them in the meantime for me? I just want to make Okay, at this time, I'm going to invite our dynamic Okay, so the Scout Association of Jamaica celebrated their Scout Week last week, and they are our special visitors for today. I now invite them to come in. You're coming to the front. All the other gods, they are the works of men. You are the most high God. There is none like you. All the other gods, they are the works of men. But you are the most high God. There is none like you, all the other gods. They are the works of men, but you are the most high God. There is none like you, all the other gods. They are the works of men, but you are the most high God. There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At this time, I invite our dynamic voices choir to enter. I'm treading my sorrow. I'm treading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness, I'm trading my pain, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. I'm trading my sorrow, I'm trading my shame, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness, I'm trading my pain, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Singing, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. So sing it. 
saying yes lord yes lord yes yes lord yes lord yes lord yes yes lord yes lord yes lord yes yes lord amen hallelujah hallelujah come on church worship god is amazing we serve a risen savior hallelujah at this time, I invite Sister Shelley and Clark to do our opening prayer. Hallelujah. Let us bow our hearts in prayer. Most righteous, eternal God and Father, through your son, Jesus Christ, I come to you this morning, almighty God. We gather here together this Sunday morning, almighty God, to give you thanks, almighty God, for waking us up this morning, for giving us life, almighty God, for blessing us this morning, O oh God, that we can see another day, almighty God. Many of us were not able to see another day, mighty God, but we were blessed this morning, almighty God, to open our eyes and to breathe the breath of life this morning, Almighty. Father God, I just want to thank you. I just want to give you the praise, the honor, and glory because you deserve it, Almighty God, because there's no other God like you. Father God, I pray that you'll bless each and every one that is here this morning, Almighty God. Touch each and every one that is on their way and guide them, Almighty God. Bless the speaker who will be speaking the word today, God Almighty. I pray that as the word is ministered unto your people, our souls will be blessed, Almighty God. Open up our dark understanding, O God Almighty, that we may attain wisdom this morning, Almighty God. Touch the, everyone that will be taking part in today's service and let everything be done to the honor and glory of your name. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Please remain standing and reach for your Bibles and hymnal as Brother Omar Hyatt comes with our devotional exercise. Brother Hyatt. Since Brother Hyatt is not here, we're going to sing a song from our hymnals. Or let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 91. And we'll read from verses 1 through to 13. We'll read alternate verses. Give a shout of praise if you found it. Bless the Lord. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by day. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place.
for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Thirteen and last, you shall tread. underfoot. Here endeth a portion of God's holy word. We'll honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Please turn your hymnals with me to 212. And our praise to you will lead us. If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the firing line. If you win, my brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the firing line. There are many dangers that we all must face. If we die of fighting, it is no disgrace. Powered in the service, we will find no place. So keep on the firing line. You must fight, be brave against all evil. Never run, forever lag behind. If you do it for God and the right, keep on the firing line. God will only use a soldier he can trust. Keep on the firing line. If you wear a crown, then bear the cross you must. Keep on the firing line. But to labor for the master dear Help to banquish evil and to spread good cheer Great you'll be rewarded for your service here So keep on the firing line Oh you must fight Be brave against all evil Never run or ever lag behind If you'd win for God and the right Keep on the firing line when we get to heaven, brother, we'll be glad. Keep on the firing line. How we'll praise the Savior for the call we had. Keep on the firing line. When we see the souls that we have helped to win, leading them to Jesus from the paths of sin. With a shout of welcome, we will all march in. So keep on the firing line. Oh, you must fight. Brave against all evil, never run or ever lag behind. If you'd wait for God and the right, keep on the firing line. Oh, when we get to heaven, brother, we'll be glad. Keep on the firing line. How we praise the Savior for the call we had. Keep on the firing line. When we see the souls that we have helped to win. Leading them to Jesus from the path of sin With a shout of welcome we will all march So keep on the firing line Oh you must fight Be brave against all evil Never run or ever lag behind If you'd win for God and the right Keep on the firing line You must fight Be brave against all evil Never run or ever lag behind If you would wait for God and the right Keep on the fiery line Oh, you must fight Be brave against all evil Never run or ever lag behind If you would wait for God and the right Keep on the fiery line Hallelujah. You may be seated. I must say a very big thank you for those who have participated so far in our day's worship session. The, there's a saying that says you must lay hand on no man suddenly, but the Bible says you must be prepared. And this morning I had to lay hand on someone special to my heart very suddenly. And she never said no. And this is, I'm just saying this to say to us, be prepared. Be ready. The Bible says no man knows the, knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall appear. So we mustn't just be ready to go to heaven. We must be ready to serve at all times. God bless you. At this time.
I'm going to ask Mrs. Clarlet Green to come with our day's announcement. Mrs. Green. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning? Yeah, are you happy to be in the house of the Lord today? You don't sound like you're happy, man. Just give a clap offering to the Father this morning, to the Son, and to the Blessed Holy Trinity. Praise the Lord. We want to acknowledge the presence of our host pastor, Bishop James Lewis. Put your hands together for the man of God. Happy to have you, sir. To our councilmen and women who are here, we acknowledge you. The Dynamic Voices Choir, we acknowledge you. Our ushers on duty, our praise and worship team, day's moderator, musician. We acknowledge you to our special, special guest in our midst today. We have the Scout District, the St. James District Scouts here with us this morning. And want to make special mention of two of the leaders, uh, Miss Andrea Jock. Andrea Jackson and Miss Paulette Downer. Gonna ask them to stand. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for them. All right, I'm gonna invite all the scouts who are here today. I see both young, middle age, and up in age, and every kind of age. So, all the scouts that are here with us this morning, please stand. Put your hands together for them and give them a Glendevon welcome. We are happy that you chose Glendevon to worship today and to celebrate your tenure in the Scout ministry. All right? So do enjoy the rest of the day's service. You may be seated. For those who are viewing online, we acknowledge you and we thank you for tuning in this morning and we trust that you will have a wonderful day with us. Today is not just for the scouts, but we also have baptism today after service. So if you are here and you didn't come ready for baptism and you feel led to give your heart to the Lord, and follow in water baptism. The water is here. And don't worry, clothes is here as well. So if you, by now on the end of the day's service, when it's time to be baptized, then you can let pastor know. All right? To all our regular members and friends, we ask that you'll just enjoy your father's house today and be blessed. The Lord bless you. These are the day's announcements. This month, our denomination focuses on building strong marriages. Couples are encouraged to engage in activities that will strengthen their union. Today is Water Baptism Sunday, and all candidates for baptism should be ready for baptism today. If you had not prepared and desire to be baptized today, please indicate to any of the counselors or ushers. Family Life Ministries continues this evening at 7 p.m. Couples, the engage, the dating, and the singles, you are invited out as we review the stages of marriage. Fasting service is on Tuesday morning, right here at 10 a.m. Bible studies, Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m., right here in the sanctuary. The funeral service for Sister Nadine Phillips 
son will be on Saturday, March 2. Please give your support. Lilliput New Testament invites us to their annual rally. This will be on Friday, March 8th. Please give them your support. The Sanctuary Choir is asked to render the item. Miss Salt Spring 2024 will be on Saturday, March 2 at 6 p.m. Tickets should be made available. We haven't received them as yet. But if you are interested in going to the Miss Salt Spring pageant on Saturday, you can find out more from Sister Lewis. Glen Devon Women's Ministry Choirs in Praise will be on March, sorry, April 7, and it starts at 6.30 p.m. Sanctuary Choir Practice will be on Thursday evening at 5.30 p.m. Praise the Lord. it was my mic frame fellowship Friday will be on March 15 at 7 p.m. all the children teens and young adults you are asked to make an extra effort to be out of fellowship with each other it promises to be a blessing all night prayer meeting will be on March 15 all are asked to bear this in mind. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say go with technology. Technical difficulties is a must. Garland's New Testament invites us to their annual rally. This will be on March 22. The Women's Ministry Corps is asked to render the item. March 22, okay. Youth Department District Praise Fest will be on April 19. All young persons or are, are those who would like to join in the worship, you're asked to bear this in mind. Youth Congress will be April 4 to 6 at the Convention Center in Old Harbor. We would like to arrange transportation early, so please indicate to Sister Marie if you are going as soon as possible. Sunderland New Testament invites us to their annual rally this evening at 7 p.m. The Life Builders Choir is asked to represent the church. Rally 2024 will be on June 28, only four months away. Group leaders and members, you are asked to take in your contributions, and the cars, you are asked to begin your preparations. Happy birthday greetings are going out to those who will be celebrating throughout the course of this week. We have two persons in the diaspora who will be celebrating, Sister Julia Hutchinson and Sister Genevieve Cunningham Downing. Sister Juliet is on Tuesday. Sister Downing is on the 28th, which is Wednesday. And we have Sister Jennifer Hall who celebrates on March 1st. Praise the Lord. Any anniversaries th throughout this week? Any other birthdays throughout this week? Praise the Lord. Nobody in a bar in a, in a, in a Oh my. And I almost missed the leap here team. All right. So the worship team is going to come and they're going to sing the happy birthday song. Is Sister Hall here? Sister Hall? Oh, she's not here. Right. 
Yeah. Sister Rose Green celebrates her anniversary this week, the 27th, right? Yes. The 26th? Okay. Right. So the worship team is going to come. Happy birthday to you. This is your day. You know that we love you in a very special way. This is your day, your day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You're so young. Age is just a number. Don't you stop having fun. This is your day, your day. Happy birthday to you. Praise the Lord. We trust that you all will have a wonderful day as you celebrate your special days. I leave with you for this week. Strange but true. The lawyer hopes you get in trouble. The doctor hopes you get sick. The police hopes you become a criminal. The teacher hopes you are born silly. The landlord hopes you, build, you don't build a house. The prostitute hopes you don't get married. The dentist hopes that your teeth decay. The mechanic hopes your car breaks down. The coffin maker wants you dead. Only a thief wishes you prosperity in life. The Lord bless you. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Thank you, Sister Clarlet Green. And I like that. All right. Before we go any further, a series of events happened. All right, let me use me. A series of events happened to me this morning before coming to church. When I was asked to moderate, I said yes. And then all of a sudden this morning, everything that could go wrong went wrong. First, my kitchen flood out. I went outside, nail ran in my foot. I get dressed in spite of all that to come to church. And something else went wrong. I was saying to somebody that I realized that most Sunday mornings before coming to church, anything that can go wrong for me will go wrong. But I want to say to us as children of God, expect the distractions. Expect the fight. The devil's job is to fight. Our job is to know that we already won. Because when Christ died, he said, it is finished. And if he won, and we are heirs and joint heirs with Christ, if we are children of the most high God, then it means that we have already, you don't need to fight a battle that is already won. Claim your victory. Step out in faith, in spite of. You woke up this morning and you push yourself to come to church, you don't know if you're going to have dinner when you go home. You don't know if come tomorrow you'll have money to send the children to school. The light bill is due. There are so many situations and circumstances that comes up. But children of the Most High God, it says you are to trust me, try me, and prove me. Come on. Come on, church of God. You've got so much to give God thanks for. He woke you up this morning and you are clothed and in your right mind. You're not in the hospital. You are not at home lying on the bed waiting for somebody to come and turn you, waiting for somebody to come and 
feed you, waiting for somebody to come and change you, waiting for somebody to come and bathe you. You have enough. Hallelujah. You have enough to give God thanks for. The little mic giving trouble, the box giving trouble, that are distractions. They are called distractions. The devil will come. He presented himself before the throne of God to query about Job. He knew what time God would meet with his angels. So he turned up. You think he'm going to turn up at church too? If he can turn up in the heavens of heavens, he will turn up in church. Juke your neighbor beside you and say, we are here to worship. We are here to worship. So if the devil is beside you, he will run because he won't worship the king of kings and the lord of lords. Let us stand. We are going to run the devil out of Glendevon, New Testament church of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want every boy, I want every girl, I want the elderly, I want the young, I want the middle aged. I want everybody to stand. We are going to run the devil out of Glendevon New Testament this morning. Hallelujah. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to drop, drop your weapons and flee. For the Lord has given me authority to walk all over you. I command you, I command you Satan, in the name of the Lord, to drop your weapon and flee For the Lord has given me authority To walk all over you We have to walk over you Walk over you Walk all over you We have to walk over you Walk over you Walk all over you I command you say Get up, get up by you Jump stand up on you. We are gonna jump stand up on you. Jump stand up on you. Jump stand up on you. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to drop your weapon and flee. For the Lord has given me authority to walk all over you. I command you. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord. To drop your weapon and flee For the Lord has given me authority To walk all over you We are gonna walk over you Walk over you Walk all over you We are gonna walk over you Walk over you Walk all over you We are gonna walk for the fire Jump stand up for you, jump stand up for you. We are going to jump stand up for you, jump stand up for you, jump stand up for you. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to drop your weapon and flee. For the Lord has given me authority to walk on the You may be seated. So now you know the devil is not beside you. Nothing should be hindering you this morning from worshiping our one true and living God. Come on, Glen Devon, I need worship in the house this morning. You never had to make it to church this morning, but God saw it fit for you to be here. Give him all the praise. Hallelujah. Bless God. At this time, I'm going to ask Acts of Worship to come with their item. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you feeling blessed to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Yes. Hallelujah. Let me see the hands of all the Christians in the house this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. And you know, if you're a Christian, it means that you've been called for a mission. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is a dub poem. 
All right, so we're going to just ask you to just enjoy, right, and just get yourself, and whatever words you catch, you can just participate. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I've got, got a mission, because I'm a Christian. I have a vision, because I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned, because I'm a Christian. Evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary, Christian. I've got a mission, because I'm a Christian. I have a vision, because I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned. Because I'm a Christian, evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary, Christian. Adam and Eve had a sin of omission. Feed them action, result in a division. Them run out of Eden and a long intermission. Mankind sin needed a remission. I got a vision. Because I'm a Christian, I have a vision, because I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned, because I'm a Christian. Evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary, Christian. Moses implemented an institution, an unblemished lamb was the substitution. The process never brings no resolution, just a holy for religious substitution. I've got a mission, cause I'm a Christian. I have a vision, cause I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned, cause I'm a Christian. Evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary, Christian. Woe is me, said the man in the vision. I will go to the inhabitants. Warn everyone but the desolation, impending do and devastation. I've got a mission, cause I'm a Christian. I have a vision, cause I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned, cause I'm a Christian. Evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary, Christian. Teaching and baptism, the only solution for a viperous nation. Satanic revolution need an intervention. Man, art, experience a transformation. I've got a mission, cause I'm a Christian. I have a vision, cause I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned, cause I'm a Christian. Evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary. Christian. Repentance, redemption, and restoration cannot come without an invitation. Apostles of old did know them position. They eat, sleep, breathe the great commission. I've got a mission, cause I'm a Christian. I have a vision, cause I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned, cause I'm a Christian. Evangelistic. Revolutionary, missionary, Christian. I have a mission, I am a Christian. I have a vision, cause I'm a Christian. I've been commissioned, cause I'm a Christian. Evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary, Christian. I have a vision, cause I'm a Christian. I have a vision. Cause I'm a Christian, I've been commissioned. Cause I'm a Christian, evangelistic, revolutionary, missionary, Christian. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That was acts of worship. I have a mission. Cause I'm a Christian, bless the Lord, hallelujah. At this time, I'll ask Miss Paulette Downer, Commissioner of St. James for the Scouts of Jamaica, to come. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. 
It's a blessing to be here. This is the message from the Governor General as we are celebrating one week of Scouts Week. We started last Sunday in Manchester and we are finishing today at Glendeville. I, I am District Commissioner Paulette Downer for St. James Scouts. His Excellency Sir Patrick Allen is unable to attend this church service, so the pleasure is mine to deliver the greetings on his behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in faith, it is with great joy and gratitude that I stand before you on this blessed occasion as we gather to close out our celebrations of Scout Week. Guided by the inspiring team, building for the future. Whether you are a familiar face returning to this sacred space or a newcomer to our annual church service, I extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. In this sacred moment, we not only celebrate your achievements of the past year, but also honor your unwavering dedication and commitment to the scouting movement. Each of you holds a pivotal role in shaping a brighter, more resilient future for our beloved nation and the global community. Today, our hearts resonate with appreciation for the young scouts and cub, cub scouts present here. Your enthusiasm, energy, and thirst for knowledge embody the spirit of scouting. You are not merely participants, you are the architects of tomorrow, laying the foundation for a future where leadership, community service, and environmental stewardship take precedence. Your journey in scouting is a sacred preparation for the divine calling to be change makers and leaders in our world. Congregation, please say amen. I extend heartfelt gratitude to all scout leaders in Jamaica who with faith and dedication guide and nurture our young scouts. Your leadership, guidance, and voluntary service are truly invaluable. As you impart skills, you are also instilling divine values and principles that will mold these young minds into conscientious and responsible citizens. Your commitment to their growth mirrors the profound impact scouting has on our communities and our nation as a whole. May we as a congregation embrace the divine team. Building for the future, let scouts, leaders, and supporters alike renew our commitment to the spiritual values embedded in scouting. In building for the future, may every scout and cub be empowered by the Holy Spirit to make a positive difference, carrying the lessons learned and sacred friendships forged in scouting as a source of inspiration and guidance. I extend my heartfelt thanks to each one of you for your dedication, passion, and unwavering belief in the transformative power of scouting. Together, as a united congregation, we are building for a future that is radiant, inclusive, and filled with eternal hope that comes from the divine. May God bless each and every one of you abundantly. Amen. Thank you very much, Commissioner for St. James, Ms. Paulette Donner, for reading the greetings from the Governor General. We're going to ask the scouts to come at this time with their item. Scouts.
Jesus. 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 You've been in the storm, and it seems like forever, Hello? and your nights of confusion has been oh so long. Your ship has lost anchor, and the storm got you drifting. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Ride out your storm. God is there with you. Bless the Lord. At this time, we're going to have our celebration of praise with our praise team. We bless the Lord, hallelujah. We bless the Lord. According to 2 Peter chapter 1, verses. Sorry, 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19, he says, For as much as he know 
that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. So we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. And regardless of what we are going through, we have the blood of Jesus. I'm just going to ask you to stand with me as we get into a higher praise. We were praising before, but we are just going to take it up a notch higher in Jesus. We know the blood of Jesus ransom us this morning. And for that, we give God glory. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus ransom me. He paid the price and he sets me free. Anywhere I go, I want the world to know the blood of Jesus ransoms me. The blood of Jesus ransoms me. He paid the price and he sets me free. Anywhere I go, I want the world to know the blood of Jesus ran sought me. The blood of Jesus ran sought me. He paid the price and he set me free. Anywhere I go, I want the world to know the blood of Jesus ransomed me. In the precious blood of the Lamb, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood. Of the land, thank God. Oh, for the cleansing of blood, thank God. For the cleansing blood, thank God. For the cleansing blood that washes white as snow. Thank God. 
Haleluya, Haleluya, Haleluya. If you know there's power in the blood of Jesus, just lift up holy hands and magnify the name of Jesus. For there is power in the blood of Jesus that washes white as snow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ prevailed this morning. I don't care what you're going through this morning. I don't care where you are this morning. You could be in the lowest valley or you could be in the highest mountain. The blood will never lose its power this morning. It will never lose its power. Hallelujah. For it reaches to the highest mountain.
Hallelujah. At this time, I call Sister Diana Boyle to pray as our ushers come, as we continue to worship in giving our tithes and offering. Praise God. Bless God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the sovereign God, the blood that never loses its power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the sovereign God. Oh, the blood that reaches to the highest, the blood that flows to the lowest. Wherever part of the universe the blood circulates, it has power to cleanse. Power to heal, hallelujah, and power to deliver. Eternal, most righteous, holy God of heaven and earth. We approach your mercy throne this morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. And Lord, our purpose is to give you praise. He's to give you glory and adoration for your excellent greatness. Lord, you have given us strength. You have given us life. You have provided jobs. And so we have time. And so God, you will bring a portion in your house. Oh, we ask you to bless it. We ask to sanctify it. We pray, Holy Spirit of God, that your children may experience the abundance of blessings that you have in store for your children. Oh God, as we give, let us give it a heart of thanksgiving. Let us give with a hope of eternal. Let's give with a hope of gratitude that the name of the Lord God is a strong tower with a righteous run in and they are saved. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, your Son, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who are visiting, just keep seated and the ushers will direct you in the way of worship in giving. All our deacons and deaconesses will start. For those who are visiting, just remain seated and follow the instruction of our ushers. Thank you. I'm a glad pilgrim on my way, going to glory land. Jesus, my only hope and stay, holding me by the hand. It's such a joy to, to understand things that I never knew. Keeping my promise to the Lord I'm going through. And he, what a wonderful feeling.
Good morning, church. You know, I was going to say good morning, kings and queens of the Most High God. But because you're going to answer me, I'm not even tight again. Good morning, kings and queens, prince and prince of the Most High God. Wonderful. 
Lord, this morning. So as we minister, we ask for you to go ahead and just minister fast in the goodness of God. Mm-hmm. We're speaking something here this morning. We are all here to speak something, right? All right. So we are going to speak him together. Amen. is what you Oh. 
is what I need. Brokenness, brokenness is what you want for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord this morning? Can we give the Lord some shouts of praise? Hallelujah. For you to be broken, for you to be transformed, for you to give holiness, you have to be naked before God and not ashamed. Give him all of you and don't be ashamed and he will Form you, he will mold you, and he will transform you. Can we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. At this time, I ask Miss Andrea Jackson, Assistant Commissioner for the Scout Association, to come with her address. Good morning, church. The voice is not so well. So hence I didn't participate in the song because it was a choice. If I do that, then I can't do this. So I made the decision. So my 
commissioner is here. She's going to do the introduction of the scouts. Good morning again. I will do my ADCs first. You know, in any organization, are you hearing me? Okay. In any organization, you have to have the chain of command, right? So, standing to my left is Andrea Jackson, ADC for Cubs. She is responsible for all the young ones. Antoinette Tapper, as I call your name, please stand. Antoinette Tapper Ains, ADC for training. She will do all the training. Venice Sinclair, Mrs. Venice Sinclair, she is the district scouter. She is responsible for all the scouts, the bigger boys, those that are in high school. Sir Eric Rowe, he is responsible for expansion, so he goes around and he introduces scouts to everywhere, church, community, schools, everywhere you can think of. He does the expansion thing. All right, I'll now call my other leaders. We have Glenn Devon Primary, leader Claudine Morgan. <laughs> Green Pond Primary, Tamika James. Anchovy is led by Mr. Eric Rowe also. <laughs> Barracks Road, Ms. Denise Sinclair again. Carnaldi, Ms. Tobia Watson. <laughs> Iman Prep, Ms. Tapper Ames. <laughs> and Nerissa Williams. <laughs> Faith Temper, Rangers. We have rangers in the church today. That's Mr. Dwight Otty. <laughs> and Mr. Richard Scarlett. <laughs> and I have some cubs and some rangers. They are scouts. Please stand. All of you. And I have a lovely parent down there from Anchovy. And from Faith Temple. Please stand with us. Just want to make it known. So Miss Andrea will now tell you all about scouting. Guys, you can sit. Okay, I won't be able to tell you all about scouting, but I'll give you a brief synopsis. It's very long. So I have to break it down for us not to fall asleep today, right? So I'll begin with a brief history from where we're coming that led us to where we are today. So the scout movement was founded in 1907 by Sir Lord Robert Baden-Powell, who resides in England. In 1899, Baden-Powell was an army commander with an army of 1,000 men. In 1907, he tried out his idea of scouting with a camp on Broncia Island in the south of England. England. About eight years later, Baden-Powell formed a section for boys ages 7 to 10, and those are the cubs. So we first started out with the scouts, that are the bigger boys, and then he came up with a grand idea that, okay, we have to make room for the smaller boys. So he came up with the Cubs. So hence we have our Cubs Scouts. So we have Scouts and then we have the Cubs. So the Cubs are technically the babies for now. Scouting was brought to Jamaica in 1910 by Reverend J. W. Graham who went to England and learned of the movement on his visit. 
The Scouts Association of Jamaica was recognized by the World Scout Conference in 1963. As with every organization, the Jamaica Scouts Association do have a change of command with the Governor General, Sir Patrick Allen, who sits at the M as Chief Scout of Jamaica. This is followed by Mr. Garth Russell as the Chief Commissioner for Scouts Association of Jamaica. We are then divided into districts, and so in the districts of St. James, it is managed by our district commissioner, Paulette Dona, and yours truly, Andrea Jackson, who is our assistant responsible for our cups. We also work with the team as she has introduced, our leaders, they are the ones that help to make it possible. We meet every second Tuesday at the Faith Temple Assembly of God on Princess Street for powwow. So we don't have meetings, we have powwows. Because scouting is more of an outing, outdoor, ex um, where you explore. So we use these animals that we associate with. The jungle book is what the cubs will use. I don't know. So you, Pastor, for those of the boys who are interested, please give them the assignment to go home, go on YouTube, find the Jungle Book story, and watch it. We have a number of characters, animals, and we use those names are very, very important in our movements. All leaders have to go through a series of training to be considered a Cub Scout leader. So you have to do a number of training. For you to be added to our scout group as a leader, you have to attend three consecutive powwows. And then we consider that, yes, you are serious about this, so we will add you to the group, and then the information will be um, given out at random times. Each institution must be registered by the Scouts Association of Jamaica at a cost of $3,000 per year. The year runs from September through July, just as a school year. Because we work in the schools, so we have to work with the school system. The Cubs, their age ranges from 8 to 10. Scouts are ages 11 to, 40 to 16, so you go up to 10th grade. The boys who are in grade 6, we call those the linkers. So you are in between Cubs and Scouts. So you are a linker. They wear a slightly different uniform, so then they will wear a long pants. Mr. Otti, can I have you up here for one second, please? So for the male leaders, this is how you will look. So he's my, my, my model for the day. Yes, so this is how you look, long pants, your badges, your scarf. This is our district scarf, by the way. So each school, if you notice, everybody's wearing something different. Each school will come up with their scarf. So for New Testament, if you're coming to be with us, then you're going to have to come up with a color to make your scarf. So hence, you see everybody wearing a different color scarf. This is the ADC, green. So the other ADC, in short order, you'll see them in their green, and our epaulette will tell you the rank also. So the ADCs, they are purple, the scouter, green, the regular leader, yellow. So you can use our epaulettes to know the rank of the, the person. Can I have a boy for me, please? Can I have a cub? One cub quickly come for me. So if you notice, our cubs, we don't put them in the long pants yet because back in the days you have to be 21 to wear a long pants. Right, Pastor? Yes. So we kind of lean a little towards back in the day. So they are wearing the shorts. The badge just the same. And in order for them to be wearing everything, they have to go through what we call investment. So we have to invest them into the movement. For the leaders... This is what we do so the leaders, they don't get to wear pants. Yippee! So they have to be in their skirts, looking similar to me. Yes, your headgear is very, very, very important in scouting. 
your headdress, without it, you're not fully attired. So your headdress completes the uniform. Yes. So <laughs> and it is for the men and women. Thank you, Cub. Thank you, Mr. Otti. So, Cub Scouting was really a gentleman thing, meaning it was a brotherhood-like movement. But in our society, the men have taken a back. So, it started to become a sisterhood and a brotherhood affair. So, we have to chip in to take up where the men left off or where they don't want to fit in, hence the ladies. But really, scouting was designed for men to train boys. So, we have to take on the mantle. So, the more so, Pastor, when you're sending, please send us males. Not being biased females. But we really need the males to be in this with us. The boys have been seeing male, females here, there, and everywhere. Schools, church, everywhere. I think they need some males around them. So, when you're farming, you're a pack, and we call them pack. For the bigger ones, for the scouts, it's troop. For the cubs, it's pack. So six boys give you six boys give you a pack. So twenty-four, a number of twenty-four cubs is considered a good pack. So you will break them into groups of six, and like the jungle book that I said, you'll assign the colors and the animal names to those packs. So when they're having their meetings, they'll identify themselves as the packs. We do have training for the boys in the form of camps. So we do campings. We have overnight, we have weekends, and we have one days. This is where we train the ones who are more responsible to assist the leaders. So they will become the leader for their pack, and we call those the sixers, and we call the, the assistant a second. For the scouts, we have them as patrol leaders and assistants. So they do get to play a leadership role. So you want them to feel some sense of wantedness. You don't just have them there. They'll take responsibilities also with their peers. Each leader and cubs has to be registered at the beginning of each scout year. That's $600 straight across the board. So the leader, 600 The cubs, 600 Scouts, 600 right across the board. There are really three arms in the movement. Cubs, scouts, and what we call the ventures. So those are the bigger teenager going into 20s. So from 17 onward, you'll have the ventures. So this church should be able to find three different groups right here. Because you would have had the three different age range boys. So, this work that we're doing, we don't get paid to do it. It is all volunteerism. So, when we give up our Sundays or weekends, we're doing it out of the love of our heart to protect our endangered species in this island. So, we don't get paid. We still have to use our monies to adorn ourselves. Parents are cooperating with us as to adorn their boys in the uniform, which can, it comes with a little cost. What we do as a district, we try to kind of bridge the gap for some schools who are struggling. So for this year, some schools would have been given assistance in the form of 12 of their boys being registered through the district. So the student and the school would not have to come up with that money for this year because we really want the boys to be out and in the movement so we can give them worthwhile training, take them away from the negative gangs and put them in positive gangs, right? Because, you know, we have positive and negative. And so, considered us as a gang, this is our positive gang where they come to learn to be worthwhile men of society. So, Pastor, <laughs> we're looking forward to have a grand relationship with Glendivan New Testament Church going forward. Thank you.
if you have not yet been invested, you keep your hands at your side. If you are invested, and I'm, I know you, you at the front, you are invested, those who have on the scarf. Are you ready? On my honor, I promise to do my best to love and serve God, my country, and the king, to help people, and to obey the scout law. Thank you very much for having us. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Downer and Miss Jackson. I, I feel so good. I feel so happy uh, sitting there listening to Miss Jackson that she would have given the address, you know, explain everything to us. I feel like I want to join it. I know I'm a little bit too old. Yes, I want to be a part of it. Okay, but it is, it is wonderful, and I'm encouraging all the little boys who are here to be a part of it. And as she said, she's hoping that, you know, we can work together and we will do our best, amen, to, to make sure that the Scouts in St. James, it grows from strength to strength. Put your hands together for everybody, and the Scout leaders, everybody who have come here today to worship, you know, with us. We really appreciate you. And I am, um, as she said, they don't really get paid, but I, I want to make a commitment to, to the group today that the Glendeva New Testament of God will make a, a contribution to the, to the start. Amen. We are going to make a contribution to make sure that, you know, these boys are well taken care of. Put your hands together for them one more time, please. God bless you. I, I will now invite our wonderful sister, Sister Bennett. I'm going to ask her to come and pray a special prayer for the leaders in the scouts at this time. Could you please stand, the scout? Could you please stand? Hallelujah. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. It is indeed a command that we should pray. And that we pray, we believe that God can and will do what he said he will do. So we are going to go to the Lord. Father, Father, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we come to you this morning, this afternoon, we come to you every day, we come to you with our entire being, mighty God. You are indeed high and lifted up. You are our help. You are mighty God. He who says that he will do everything. There's nothing that we can do. Nothing that we can do. Father, I place the scouts before you today. Mighty God, we understand that this is a movement and they do it voluntarily. But Lord, they could not have done it had you not moved them to do it. So, Father God, we ask that you will strengthen the leader's heart, mighty God. Father, when they feel discouraged, Lord, I ask for you to lift them up, mighty God. Bear them on eagle wings, mighty God. Give them direction. Give them clarity, mighty God. Give them and equip them with wisdom so that they can guide the little ones that you have placed in their hands. Hallelujah. 
Lord, you would have formed them, mighty God, before the foundations of the world. So, Lord, I know that their being the leader is not new to you, Lord. You would have known every obstacle, every challenges that they would have come up. But I know, Lord, that even then, you will have made a way for them. So, Lord, we place the leaders in your hands. Father, children, they are our heritage. Lord, that you would have blessed us with them. You would have entrusted these children to the leaders, mighty God. Father, we ask for you to humble their hearts. We ask for your mighty God to soften hearts. We ask for your mighty God to speak to will, mighty God. Father, you have the armies at your disposal. So, Lord, we ask that you will dispense every angel, mighty God, to protect them. Lord, wherever they walk, mighty God, it will be that their steps are ordered by you, Lord. Rest on them, mighty God. We ask for full coverage, Lord. Not one of these children will be lost along the way, Lord. But as they grow into adults, Lord, they will remember the lessons that they would have been taught by the adults. We lift you up. We lift you up, Jehovah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Lord, we speak peace. We speak for peace. We speak for peace. Father, we present hearts before you this morning. We present hearts before you this morning. We ask that you will bear them up on eagle's wing this morning. We ask, mighty God, when they come against anything, God, that will stir them up, Father, that you will hide them in the cliff of your mighty God. We ask for a peace that passes all understanding, Lord, even when everything is going wrong. Wash them in your peace, mighty God. Saturate them in your peace, mighty God. We look to you, Lord. Lord, if there is anything, mighty God, that is hindering them, Father, we place it at your feet. We place it at your feet, Lord. We ask that your will will be done in their lives. Father, when they sleep, that they will rest, mighty God. They will not worry, Father, because you would have clothed everything. You would have provided for the birds. How much more can you provide for your daughters and your sons? So in your name, mighty God, we present them to you. Father, that you will supply every need that they have. Every need that they have, mighty God. They will not have lack because you, mighty God, own everything. There's nothing that we own. Everything belongs to you. Everything belongs to you. Everything belongs to you, mighty God. Breathe your breath on them, Lord. Breathe your breath on them, God. Renew their strength, Lord. Let them have vigor. Lord, when they go forth, Father, we thank you for the little ones. We thank you for the little ones, mighty God, that they will look and see the example, that they will not fall into prayer pressure, mighty God. They will remember the lessons that they were taught, Lord. Lord, we need the men. We need men after your own heart, mighty God. We need men that will stand up for righteousness, Lord. So, Lord, we ask for you to watch over these little ones. Watch over them, mighty God. There's no one else that can do it but you. So, we give you thanks and we give you glory. We honor your name. We honor your name. We honor your name, sweet Jesus. We honor your name this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, sister. Betty, for praying that powerful prayer for the, the leaders of the scout and also the, the scouts. God, we just bless you. Today is a, is a twofold service. Okay, very glad to have the scouts here with us. But in the New Testament Church of God, the body, today is set aside for baptism Sunday. And so, Right through Jamaica, many of our churches, you know, will be engaged, you know, in water baptism. And to God be the glory. Some might have had it from in the morning. Some will have it like today, in the day. And some may have it, you know, in the night. But we are very glad today that we have three persons 
who are willing to, to, to walk with the Lord, you know, with water baptism. Put your hands together for them. And I'm going to invite them to come out here at this time, the three persons. And there is nothing wrong if you make a recommitment to God. Just turn around. Okay. If you make a recommitment to God, you know, through water baptism. Water baptism does not save you, but it is important, okay, to, to be involved in after you have surrendered your life to the Lord. It was, you know, when the, the eunuch said, here is water, what that in the me from being baptized. And he said, do you believe? Yes. And once you believe, then, you know, you are you know, ready, you know, for water baptism. Could you put your hands together for them one more time? And I'm going to ask them to, to give them a mic. And they are going to give their, their testimonies. And then we will go on from, from there. Praise the Lord. Just give a short testimony. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Um, I know that Jesus is good. Yes. It's not the first I'm going to be baptized. Yes. Because the first time when I got baptized was with this, it was Pastor Davis yes. at night wow. when he was at church preaching. Yes. So he asked and he asked if anyone here would like to be baptized. Yes. So I come up and I got baptized from that night. But I know that Jesus Christ, who died for me, yes. so I, in what tri trials and tribulations that I'm going to, I, can, I make up my mind this time again, and I said, Jesus, yes, I want to be water baptized again yes. to show that. Because Jesus Christ himself was water baptized yes. in Jordan River. Yes. Yes. So I say, God, I want to be baptized again, because all the crucifixion and trials and tri tribulation, I say, God, I need you. I need to be in water baptized again to show that you are my God and you are my Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' God. name I pray. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Let's praise God again. Praise the Lord. Hello. Hello good day. Good, yes. good morning. Is it still morning? Okay, yes. sorry. Still af um, afternoon. Oh, afternoon, church. Um, my name is Brittany, and this is my first time being baptized. Amen. Um, I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. Just, uh, just take your time. I know you are saved and you are, you are okay. So I, I had a rough time last year because my dad had a stroke. Turn around. Yes, turn around. My dad had a stroke and it's been really rough for us last year. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to be baptized, but I couldn't find the right church. Yes. And I came this morning and I decided I wanted to be baptized. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just wanted to be closer to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. God is good. Yes. All the time. God is good. Um, last year has been a very rough time for me. Yes. Oh. That's why we have to be patient with them. Amen. They are just learning to walk. Yes. Okay. Okay. Are you 
with you. Okay. So you should put your hands together for her. She's still. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know they, they would have confessed their, their, their desire to serve the Lord and that they are, are saved. And I tell you sometimes, the, the older members, sometimes when they are supposed to testify, man, they find it very difficult to, you know. Don't it, brethren? And so they are just learning to walk. I challenge you next month, this time, you are going to want to try to stop them when they will be giving their testimony. Put your hands together for them, please. <laughs> Councillor Clark, could you please come? I wanted to, to pray for them. I pray for the baptizer and bless the water for me at this time. Let us pray and agree together. Father, we come into your presence this afternoon. And to you we give praise and to recognize this afternoon that is in you we move, live, and have our being. I present this afternoon before you your baptizer that you will clothe your servant, Reverend James Lewis. We praise Brother Wedderburn that will stand with him this afternoon. But Lord, we recognize that you will clothe them with your majesty, your power, and your glory. So we place these on your altar, Lord, those who we have called, because you declare by your word that none can come to you unless they're chosen or pull. And so we thank you today for the pulling in Glendavon that you have rest upon these. We place Sister Joyce, who is making a new covenant and a new commitment. And we place Brittany, Sister Brittany, and Sister Ash before you this afternoon. And ask of you, Lord, as you told Abraham, walk before me. I pray today, Lord, that you will teach these how to walk before you. And that the membership of Glendavon will allow these to walk before you in a very special way. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness and your grace. We just, I just stretch my hands towards the water that is in that pool. Even though we ask that the efficacious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be poured out even today upon your servants. In the mighty name of your son Jesus Christ. And we say amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Come on, lift up your hands and praise the Lord everybody. The Bible says, let everything that art breath praise the Lord. And so I'm going to invite the praise team to, to take over this time, sing some songs, and I'm going to invite them to, to come along to the pool in Jesus' name. If you have your hymnals, I will ask you to turn with me to hymn 390. Would you be free from your burden of sin? 390. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you
Peter Duncan with us in the water, and she will repeat after me. Witness ye, Witness ye. men and angels, men and angels. The, solemn vow the solemn vow I make. I make. Thy vow, thy vow is upon me, is upon me. O, Lord, o Lord, until death. Until death. Duncan, upon the confession of your faith and the commission given to me as a minister of the gospel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Would you be whiter, much whiter than snow? There is power in the blood, power in the blood. Life-giving flow. There is wonder-working power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power. with us in the water. You heard her as she gave you know, her testimony. She's going to repeat after me. Witness ye. Witness ye. Men and angels. Men and angels. The solemn vow. The solemn vow. I make. I make. A vow. A vow. I dare not. I dare not. To break. To break. Thy vow. Thy vow. Is upon me. Is upon me. O Lord. O Lord. Until death. Until death. Mr. Grant, upon the confession of your faith and the commission given to me as a minister of the gospel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There is power in the blood, power in the Mr. McIntyre, upon the confession of your faith and the commission given to me as a minister of the gospel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to 
go God's way the rest of my life. So I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Oh, goodbye, way. of my life, oh, I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life, oh, goodbye world, I want to stay no longer with you, goodbye pleasures of sin, I want to stay no longer with you, I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. To go God's way the rest of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The psalmist says, I am determined to hold out to the, to the end. I know you might not have come here this day to be baptized, but somehow God has touched your heart. He is speaking to you, and you want to surrender your life to him. Don't be afraid. The Bible says today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. It is what is required of us. Nick, Jesus said to Nicodemus, he must be born again. And this is the day that you can start a new relationship with the almighty God. Because it is appointed unto man once to die. And after death, then comes the, the judgment. And everybody in this building today will have to stand before the almighty God and give an account for all the things that he would have done or she would have done you know, in their bodies. May God bless you today. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid to say, Pastor, I am now ready to surrender my life to God and I'm going to follow him in water baptism. Is there one person? Is there one person? We have clothes here for you to be baptized. And we know the children cannot be baptized unless the parents, they give consent. Amen. But is there someone here today? Any young person? Any adult? God bless you. God keep you. If you decide sometime during the course of this week, you can give me a call and say, Pastor, I'm coming for my baptism next Sunday morning and next Sunday night, and we will be willing and ready to baptize you. God bless you. To God be the glory. I want to thank every one of you for coming out today to, to worship with us. I want you to know that we have enjoyed your your presence. The scouts, we have enjoyed your presence today. And we trust and hope that you will continue, amen, to worship with us. And every unsaved, every visitor would have made it to church today. We want you to know how grateful we are to have you worshiping with us. And those of you who are joining at this moment via the social media, we thank you for being a part of the Glen Devon New Testament Church of God. And for those of you who don't have a, a church to, to worship in, we, we invite you to come again and be a part of the fellowship at the Glen Devon New Testament Church of God. God bless you and God keep you at this time, brother. At this time, while the praise team is doing our closing chorus, I'm going to ask our membership to come up with your $100 contribution towards the youth. Thank you, and I trust and believe that we will have a very blessed rest of the evening, rest of the day, 
and you will remember to come back to church tonight for evangelistic service. God richly bless you. The blessings that you've received, keep it. Continue to worship in truth. Continue to give God glory and praise. And I promise you that God is with you always. God bless you. Christ has gone a home to prepare up beyond the blue skies. It must be some wonders up there. Never seen my mortal eyes. We know soon he's coming again from his heavenly throne. We shall leave this earthly domain when it comes to claim his own. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up, get ready to go. If you want to ride on the glory train, with the Savior and his chosen crown, you better hurry up, hurry up, get ready to go. Give your hearts to Jesus today. Oh, I longer refuse. Let him, let him wash your sins on. Only one to choose. Do not wait until it's too late. Let him be a true guide. Enter in the mercy gates. It is standing open wide. You better hurry up. Hurry up. Get ready to go. If you want to ride on the glory train. Chances are gone. Never again your loved ones to see while eternity rolls. Oh, you better hurry up. Hurry up. Get ready to go. If you want to ride on the glory town with the Savior and his chosen crown, you better hurry up. Hurry up. Get ready to go. Since by millions rise, yes. what an awful day it will be when your chances are gone. Never again, your loved ones to see while eternity rolls. Oh, you better hurry up, hurry up, get ready to go. If you want to ride on the glory train, with the Savior and his chosen crown. Hurry up, hurry up, get ready to go. You better hurry up, 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 get ready to go. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm inviting the congregation to stand at this time. We're going to be blessing the offering, and then we will do the benediction after. Let us pray. For oh God and our Father, what in heaven. One more time, we come to you. God, we want to thank you for today. We want to thank you for your many, many blessings, oh God, which you have bestowed upon us. We want to thank you for your love. We want to thank you for your mercy. We want to thank you for your grace. And here we are one more time, God, as your people stretch forth their hand to give. We ask that you let bless it. We ask that you let sanctify it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Raise your right hand for the benediction, please.
to him that is able to serve us. The most wise God, most powerful, glory, power, majesty, and honor belong it unto him. Now and forevermore. And the people of God say, Amen. God bless you all. Get ready to go. Yeah.